Bacterial endospores are dormant structures that are formed by some bacteria as a way to survive when the environmental conditions become bad. The two medically important genuses or genera of bacteria that form endospores that you need to remember are Clostridium and Bacillus. So an example of Clostridium would be C. diff or Clostridium difficile. And for Bacillus, the example there is Bacillus anthracis, which causes anthrax. So these endospores are resistant to a lot of environmental conditions. They're really hard to kill. So they will survive heat. Um, you can kill them with autoclaves, but if you try to kill them with boiling water, you would have to boil the water for 13 hours to kill the endospore, which no one's gonna do. Um, they can also survive radiation, like UV radiation. Um, they're hard to kill with a lot of uh, different chemicals and they can also survive being dried out as well. So once they're in the hospital environment, they can be really difficult to get rid of. So with the endospore structure, um, the bacteria will form very thick layers of protein and peptidoglycan. And in order to see endospores under the microscope, they actually show up as a clear structure um, but you can also stain them with some special endospore stains. So like the picture on the right, um, if you look closely, there's some green staining there, and that's actually the endospore that's inside um, what's left of the bacteria. Um, eventually, the rest of the bacteria will die, and you'll just be left with those little green endospores. So for example, with Clostridium difficile, it normally likes to live inside the GI tract where there's no oxygen. And when it comes out in the stool and is exposed to the oxygen, the oxygen can kill it. So in order to survive, the Clostridium difficile will sporulate. So this is just the process of forming the endospore. So what it does is it just makes a copy of its chromosome and then just starts to surround that with thick layers of peptidoglycan and protein. Eventually, the rest of the bacterial cell will die and disappear, and then you'll just be left with just the, the endospore. So the endospore, when conditions improve, they will germinate or hatch back out. So you can see that on this bottom left picture where the bacteria has come out of its dormancy and is germinating and becoming the vegetative cell again. The term vegetative cell is just referring to bacteria that are active, they're doing metabolism, they're eating, they're reproducing, um, so they would not be dormant at that stage. And this is just a nice um, comparison of the difference between the vegetative cells, that's when the bacteria are active, and the endospores, which is when they're going to be dormant, which allows them to survive bad environmental conditions.